Hey guys, it's me again. If you're hearing something in the background, no you're not. It's probably just my family and we are back. I'm sick, sorry. And we are... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and we are back with a new episode of the casting of Frank Stone or how I like to call it, the Franking of Cast Stone. I hope you all enjoy this episode and I hope I can see you next time. Please enjoy the video and let's go with it before I die. In the House of Darkness Gerant Manor, 2024. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? <laughs> I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we... Just knock, or... I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Wait, Linda, what were you... What were you going to say? Yeah, she does look gay. I, I thought some... I, I, I thought that too. Maybe nobody's home. Well, this is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything Hello? else around. Anybody home? Oh my god, you're really that girl. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. Huh? No, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Open. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. I was going to say that. Who so are you, Maddie? <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently. Okay. Property invasion. That's cool. Can we, like, point out that the lights went off as we were going? Like, we were so close and suddenly the lights went out. It was like an outage or something? Or they just saw the car and said, it's okay, me. it's time for the show to start. Hello? Let's take a look around. All right. Who the fuck? Okay, wait. Um, hello? We've arrived. Oh, this is Agustin, right? Oh, sh oh yeah. Oh, she, she's kind of pretty. Is this the collection? Yes, I have two of these. Huh. Can we open this? Nope. Anything that we can check? Nope. Huh. Nothing here. I think we're just gonna have to go up. You can... Can we steal stuff to stay seem loaded? I know, right? She has interesting art choices okay maybe if we need to go there I want to go up first never go directly to it a chessboard the pieces are already in oh No! No! Huh. Who even I could play this? Survivor's theme? Oh no. Okay. I'm guessing what it is. <laughs> I love this. 
I love this kind of easter eggs, I don't know. Nothing else? Yep, nothing else. Oh, or maybe? Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. Yeah, dude, that's what I want in my life. I would live like this if I could. So Do you play? pretentious and um, shit. A little. You're fucking. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's so cool. I just. Okay. I'm so weak. I'm so weak, man. Whoa. <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. Interesting. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Oh, holy shit! Okay. I love her! Um... It's a really nice house, I'm okay with dying there. Same. And if Linda kills us, please, just do. Miss Lever, I am writing to confirm that as per your instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. I recall hearing mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, will it not be preferable or indesirable to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required? I recommend myself for this duty and do not consider it below my station, for I will relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary. Should it be needed, uh, I am only a short drive away if, if called upon on you and you need- oh god. And you needn't concern yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as a, a state manager of Durant Manor, I have proven to be a model of reserve probity and rel reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation. Your devoted servant, J.F. Grimes. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. That's not what the letter said. Maybe. That's not. That's not what it said. It said Oh yeah, since they are coming, we are leaving because you asked us to. That's not what it said. Discovery. Brank Stanford uh, Business con Concert. Behind all good ideas is a plan. Behind all great ones is Stan. I think this is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving business connoisseur. He's a snob. Yeah. Oh. It's a little uh, yuck. Oh god, this is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. The, yeah, no, why? No one will do that. I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces. I want. I didn't know where do we have to go, but I want to check this again because <sighs> I. I super we didn't comforting. win, you know. Okay. I'm gonna need someone to point me to the right direction. I just don't want to continue the story. So, if there are things to this way, see. Then. Oh, fuck me. Wait, I want to know in the secret passage. Please let me go. Fuck! Story. Do you have pants on? Ah, yes, okay, ladies. thank you. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. <laughs> you look like I'm a killer. So sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. Oh, you're a Stan. You would be. Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. It, short for Madeline. Madison. Madison, actually. Ah, middle name Lexington. What? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. 
Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. What the fuck? Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Okay, get away from me, creep. What do I want to say? Well, I don't know what the thingy means, but it could be interesting. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. No, we just saw your card. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your back end call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am. I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Are you a writer uh, or something? Okay. I swear, Bruno she's Stanford a writer and she's called Caso. Back and call, only to call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> uh, so what's going on right now? Uh. Well, oh, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. Don't you see she's You're trying to be maker? discreet? Uh, yeah, I've made some movies. A lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Actually, no. Blood Point. Blood. Blood Benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Those are very um, long no. titles. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. Okay. I wish, though. She will probably pay well. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. I will be flattered that he thinks I have a job. Miss Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. Look around while waiting for Augustine What Lieber. do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the, the epic details. Of but Gilgamesh. it involves money and fast cars and trading. Oh. But nothing illegal, obviously. A bit of like uh, bedtime obviously. reading. Tablet 5, The Slaying of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him before the preeminent pre god until. Sorry. Enlil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. Enlil is in Nippur, Shamash is in Sipar. Erect an eternal monument proclaiming how. Gilgamesh killed Humbaba. They tied together a raft and Kidu steered it while Gilgamesh held the head of Humbaba. Read carefully, Norman, study close what Enkidu tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Humbaba's pleas for clemency, recognized sparing the demon bull and doer heroes righteously won victory, that only a violent demonstration would steer the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint. Huh. I will be putting stuff in my car and leaving. <laughs> Fair. Fair. No, I'm very upset. Can we go back? I really want to look into the passage. The secret passage. Where did we came from? Can I look into this? Huh. Marder Mill. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Hey, either of you- Oh my fucking god. 
Y'all come from behind fucking stones, don't you? I'm lost, I don't get the book. OMG. <laughs> um, I don't know, apparently it's about a proclaimed hero that has killed his enemy instead of, you know, being merciful to him. Murder mail? Holy shinobi! Why you shinobi? Can, right? What? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Oh! Wait, this is one of yours? Look at her face! It's one of the first things I ever worked She's on. She's so bitter about budget. this. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. Oh, no. No, no come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Well, I mean... I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Why? Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, Sir, are you break. okay? I heard they kept at least one. Just in case. In case what? The CIA's got what? this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute with... Um... What? Wait... Leary's Memorial Institute is, a, is, is from the CIA? For enhanced interrogation. What? How do you know all this? I'm Wait, a fan. what? And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Miss Linda? Huh. Okay. Please let me go uh, back and watch the fucking passage to happen? and the secret I passage. <laughs> Hi. Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment. Uh -huh. I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. She's gay and all. Everyone's gay these days. Yeah, and she supports trans rights. And who are you? I call myself... Augustine Lieber. And why do you know us, but we don't know you? Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Guys, I'm so fucking upset about the secret passage, I swear. Um, I don't know if I want to have a drink without knowing what the all of this is. Uh, no, that's okay. You sure? It's very good. I'm fine. You can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. You're driving, you shouldn't drink? Yeah, I'll see that. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Why? Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? What do you mean? What are oh, you really talking eager. about? Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Uh huh? Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain 
noted Artur. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Guys, what the fuck? Not quite. Am I supposed to give something? I don't have shit. I. Oh, do I? I never knew what it was from. Oh, I do. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. Okay, leave my girl Linda out of this. I know, it's this is being weird. Also, why are you taking that from me? Um, That's mine until I say that you have fulfilled the promise, okay? Uh, give it back. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Yeah! Well, that would Go, be your Linda. Choice. But after 40 years of pain, why what? would you choose to live with more? What? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. In the reliquary, that's where J.F. was, right? The seer of the letter. Let me go to the passage, let me go to the passage, let me go to the passage. We were so close. Fuck me. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. Petty act of bravado. There was a kid in that. What do you mean? There was a kid there. What? The, what? What are you into? What do you want? Can we give her some gum or something? I wish. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. Oh, I have so many questions. I had to find the right means to awaken him. He saved the baby. Why are we insulting him? Exactly, Kirby, you understand. Like, what the fuck? Hello? You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. Is that the movie? <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial you're Sick imaginations can come up with that you'll never defeat our spirit. You shouldn't say that. Haven't you saw who keeps it tapes or something? <laughs> there are a lot of things that a person can do to you to hurt you. No, no, no. My sister. Oh god. Oh, all I have to do is betray my own sister. And you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Uh, can I talk to the writer of this movie? Take her? No! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. Cheesy. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Alien? Do your worst. I can take it. Transgender aliens in prison, maybe? Ah! What is that? What are you doing? 
Yeah, it was low budget, I can see. It was really? not amazing. It wasn't like too much? No way! <sighs> Chris, I feel like maybe we I need to talk. You what gotta the fuck play was to that? the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Chris uh, is happy with your acting? I don't know why. Was that a good one? No. Uh, well, let me check the gate. It was awful. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, who is filming this bro? Apparently Linda. <laughs> That's her gay hero in there. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> oh my god. So, are, are we good, or what? No. But like, yep. okay, I, I mean, yeah, I'll take it. It looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Oh, no, I'm going full Linda's here. I don't like being yelled at. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way, because I'm the director. Bestie. Hold still. Let me clean you off. We'll get it on this one. If we don't. You can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going Ew. again. <laughs> okay. Sound speed? Um, uh, camera speed. All right. Everybody settle. And hold, and hold, and action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry? Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, Sam, hi. Oh. Was Jaime the one in the necklace? The necklace we found earlier? Was that Jaime? It looked like Jaime. Who someone is someone here wearing the necklace? Mr. Green? Sheriff. If Chris Sheriff. is wearing the necklace, right. I think Sorry. she's dead. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? Wait, is this after or before? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. Okay, I pro probably this you are is trespassing. after it. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss Dixie, Miss Tammy D. Dixie, Miss Gordon. 
Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises, and you do not, under any circumstances, set one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. I mean, we have played like, as him, we know why is he like this, so we're just gonna accept. Oh man, sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 Jaime, we've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is, he can't. And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Yeah, but at the same time, sorry, uh, that was our camera, like. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. Oh. The hell crawled up his ass. Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? I mean... We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. You three are teenagers, it's not like I, th I can tell you what to do. Man, do I love Linda. Look at her. out sir thank you Jaime now remember what I said because I'm not gonna warn you again yes sir we weren't exactly very subtle like we literally parked in front of it sucks to suck I guess keep him hooked See their legs keep them hooked? It says Laura Min. It said. It said Laura Min at the start. Not keep them hooked. Yeah, no wonder we get caught. Like, we. Like, I don't know. Do you know anything about getting into abandoned structures? You just don't park in front of it. <laughs> but, anyways. A curiosity on Main Street, Cedar Hills, 1980. Oh, I love the bun. It's a little bit rust, though. so dramatic it's not like we've got a real deadline Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline me gothic i like it hey what are these oh i got those for us all to wear when we shoot surprise wait you guys are both acting so it'll just be me so you'll be like our ambassador. I love the shirt. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. I got it on hmm. DVD. Whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> okay. Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a 
noted hotbed of criminal activity. <clears throat> it's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. Frank Stone, Misty. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. Mm -hmm. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell, yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, what about Lou? Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like our steel mill where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Those are the worst killers. They never found the bodies. They found parts. I hate to be excited about this, but this I don't want to blame them for need a new location? not talking no, about it. Dummy that we already have the best location. I don't support this. You... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real life murder mill? Oh, you can't buy don't... that kind of publicity buster. Oh. People are actually gonna wanna see this thing. We're gonna be like totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Her hey, expressions. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see I don't if we can get it fixed? So they are very yeah, the something. Thing is, I kind of. When I gotta go to bed, but I hope you have a good stream. See you soon, Kirby. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy your night, okay? Enjoy your dreams and have a good dreams uh, and a good night. Sorry, I I, I was trying to say something there. <laughs> bye bye. See you tomorrow. So the budget on the t-shirts. <sighs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. Um, she said, I'm not 16 anymore and I don't live in this house. And well, his dad yelled that she was grounded. What? Uh, um, you want a piece of me too? What the fuck? How the partner? I'm not saying that. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, mm -hmm. so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just... Bonnie? So... This is Oregon, right? Because Linda said... She was from Oregon. And Sam is here, and the murder meal is here. To blow off some steam. So I'm having yeah. a theory, but I, it Last might not be. Last thing for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My 
darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do, what else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we the need a few Bonnie bucks said to that she went to study to the Big Apple, New York. Is she uh, Madison's mom? That's what I was thinking. Ouch. How much do you need? Um, I don't know if 20 bucks will do it. I don't know how, I don't know a lot about these cameras. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks and I can give you the rest if it's enough. Just like, to 20 bucks would probably cover it 20 bucks that ain't pocket change yeah it's probably That's a lot much for camera the repairs cost time. these days seriously i don't We're have any to idea this thing good and good don't come cheap it can come too huh. you guys really needed to finish the film yeah All right, I'm in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Okay. Try not to waste it. Don't worry, we'll put it to good use. You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. Oh my god, You washed it all Chris. off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's also, what does it mean real blood just means flavored? What the fuck is that? I have questions about this. What do you mean? Would be Jaime. Anyone could go? Any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even endless cameras? curiosities? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. Like, I really the owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. I have. You never oh know. God. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Huh. Oof. I want to see what's in the curiosity shop. Why not? I certainly am curious. Regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques. I don't think you should say that. Hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. They gotta look inside. Mm -hmm. Uh, too bad. Closed? So much for that. Oh. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Thank you. Oh, 
oh, such a sweet little lady. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Mm hmm Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Is this the collection again? I don't need to check it all the time, guys. Then I'm sorry in the secret passage there was one of them. Oh, cute bunny. It's not a cute bunny. It is not. It's not. Oh my god. Oh no. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's painful. <gasps> let's go, lesbians. Let's go. Ah! Let's go, lesbians. Let's go. Here we go, lesbians. Oh my god. Here we wait. go, lesbians. Come on. Oh, let's go, lesbians. Oh my god. Hi, everyone. Another bold bodies rating. Hi, Kishi. How are you? Oh my god. Hi, everyone. Wait. Oh my god. I messed up everything while trying to see who rated me i'm sorry hi everyone how are you doing how was stream did you all have fun what were you playing too um if anyone doesn't know me i'm moon i use she her pronouns for now and i'm kind of playing a little bit of everything lately i'm what we call a variety stream <laughs> but welcome how is everyone oh my god what is that we're playing uh, the casting of uh, Frank Stone, but of course, if you are from Kishi's stream, you already know what Dead by Daylight is. <laughs> um, if anyone needs to go away for a second or for the entire stream to like have a little bit of time for themselves and you know do your things, just do. Please don't feel like how is that called. Don't feel pressed to be here or speak on chat. Thank you so much for the raid again, Kishi. Thank you so much. <gasps> Wait. Oh. No, that's not the thing that I was expecting. Thank you for the follow. Anytime, friend. That's the legend pin. I know. I just thought it was the. Um, how is it called? One of the little relics. The smiley pin. I knew it. I was like. I thought it was from the legend, but I didn't want it to say it because I'm very. I always shut down when I don't know what something is. It's like. I don't want to be like assumptions. I don't want to be. Wait, what? I don't want to do assumptions. <gasps> Div! It's a bear! I love it! That's so cute. We just went into that door like it was actually our home. I hope the lady didn't see. Okay. Let's say hypothetically she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? I thought we were... We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Yeah, Except I thought we were going to fucking buy Shark it. Like, his eyes he's talking like we were going to shoplift or something. A camera is very not easy to shoplift. Hi, it's me. <laughs> it is. I was running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. Oh, they keep making references. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Oh. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. Look at it. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. I don't know, you mm -hmm. look very charmed. Uh, how much are you asking for it? 
Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Okay, let's go. Do it. Tell me the price. 20 bucks. I don't want to be mean. It feels appropriate. Appropriate, right? I don't know anything about um, the 80s in Oregon and cameras. Uh, pff, guys, I'm from the... 2001. <laughs> I, I'm going to say it seems reasonable. I don't know what we could use the money for apart from this. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Probably. You accept the storekeeper's price. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Why is there ominous music playing? I... Hi? Lady? Oh my god, okay. Did you leave your camera there? Wait, guys, oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. We is she gonna be back? We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Oh. Emergency sock quarter? Uh, FPS drop again? Okay, no, it's working. Probably. Oh my god. Okay, that's felt very bad. Oh! Where? There. Huh. Oh, wait! That's the next one. That's the next trinket. So, I didn't miss any on the secret room? Maybe a clue? Maybe I just missed a clue. It seems that we need to go there, but I want to check what was on the other side first. There was like a paper. Yes, this is this. Business Barry. Movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Oh, we're. Oh. Oh, we're doing a course movie, right? And the camera has some fucking cars or something. There are those films that have been lost over time which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery these lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy uh, sorry conspiracy theorists alike not because they wish to marvel at the performances of the actors or craft of the director but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera interesting there is a long lineage of lost movies resulting in dark myths. Interesting. Fear Trap? Lightbringer? scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is gonna be the last record of the mill. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this. Lightbringer States has announced the next stage in the transformation of Cellar Hills, with new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Steel Mill. Guys, there is no way, there is no way, like, building houses there is okay, right? That's not, that's not something that should happen. Wait a second. Sorry guys, my mom was here. <laughs> Exploratory visits to the old Cedar site by Lightbringer Expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced. A heat of demolition schedule. Oh wait, sorry, what? Early 81. I wanna keep looking, wait. Don't take away everything from me. Be hooked. Oh my god. They are really making It's behind you. 
They are really making a lot of references. I love that. I wonder how many can I hit? Oh, that's the collection again. No, then... Okay, I guess I'll do it. Is there like one trinket in every chapter? Episode? Chapter? Sorry. Uh, get the milk. Mm, someone sent me a message. Wait a second. Oh my god. Sorry. Hello? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Hello? Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. Oh. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Hey. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... Go fast. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, it's the that'll milk. be 25 cents. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Oh, not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. I know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. See? You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Yeah. He watches that place like a hawk. We know it is. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today. But we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. <sighs> oh, no. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? In nothing. Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. He's a cop, dude. We are not subtle. Home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Bestie, you can grab your milk and leave before he interrogates you. He's a cop. Leave. Or punch him. I don't know. This is very awkward. Please. Chris. Let me go. Yes. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. Just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. They told me about Frank Stone. Should we? I don't want to tell him what we're going to do. That will be very stupid. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Are you gonna leave me here? Like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here in this shop hey, while hey, you hey. close. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Uh huh. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> cool. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber, 
was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. Um. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. Oh my god, okay. A new okay. chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. So she was Augustine. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Um, when I make art, like photography or my writing, I prefer not to suffer while doing it.